Here are a couple of ways to use the Clone Brush tool, which enables you to clone from a designated source area to a target area. I'm doing some texture authoring work and I want to tidy up the ground. I could use inpainting to achieve this, but cloning will give me finer control over the result. The Clone Brush tool can be found here on the Tools panel, or alternatively, it can be selected with K. To use this tool, you first need to set a location to sample from by holding Option on Mac, Alt on Windows, then clicking on an area. Now you'll be able to click drag and brush over an area to replace it with the area you are sampling from. At the moment, we are currently overwriting any existing pixel data at this location. Cloning can be performed non-destructively by creating a new pixel layer beforehand using this option. Then on the context toolbar, I'll change from current layer to current layer and below. Now, if I clone over this area again, the result will be written to this new pixel layer and not the original image layer. To achieve a better result, don't be afraid to change the sample point and brush over the cloned areas until you're happy with the outcome. Depending on the image, you may also find that reducing the brush hardness results in a better edge blend. Whilst I have this soft brush, I can also sample from different surrounding areas and single click or use a light click drag to stamp in these details to the cloned area, which helps to break up the repetition and make this area look more unique. On the context toolbar, I can also modify the rotation, scale, and orientation of the brush. I may want to clone out this area using some of the adjacent information to the right. Being able to change these parameters for the cloned content will help it look less repetitive. I'll increase rotation, reduce the scale, and also enable horizontal flip. Then I'll sample from over here and brush over this area to replace it. It's worth noting that you can also rotate the brush nozzle using the left and right arrow keys. I'll continue experimenting with the parameters up here and cloning until I'm happy with the result. Another example of where you would use the clone brush tool is during frequency separation retouching for replacing texture on the high frequency layer. I've got my portrait document here with low and high frequency layers. So I'll make the high frequency layer active then select the Clone Brush tool. I'll reset to sampling from just the current layer for this workflow. Cloning this textural detail is the kind of scenario where it would be appropriate to increase the brush hardness, potentially all the way to 100%. This helps maintain the clarity of the texture detail and prevents blurry edges from appearing around the cloned areas, which would make them more obvious. As before, I can use Option or Alt to sample, then clone over areas of the skin to replace them. Unchecking Aligned on the context toolbar will cause the sample point to return to its initial position every time you end the current brush stroke. This is sometimes useful when cloning if you find yourself constantly repositioning the sample point, but do be careful as you can easily end up with repetitive areas. I'll re-enable Alignment tidy up the eyelash and move on to the additional catch lights in the eyes which I want to remove. The texture of the left eye is easy enough to retouch but the right eye is slightly trickier. I'll need to sample from multiple points and perhaps use a smaller brush width. Going back over the area I'm replacing until the texture looks more seamless. It's this situation where reducing the brush hardness may be beneficial as well. This helps me blend in the harder edges.
zooming out from detailed retouching can also give you a better perspective. Here, I've realized I still need to blend in some of the edge detail, so I'll go back in and keep cloning until I'm happy. Although not shown by default, Photo has a sources panel that can be used in conjunction with the clone brush tool. I'll open up these three images as separate documents. These were shot handheld, but with roughly the same composition. I'll go to Window, Sources, to expose the Sources panel. I can go through these separate documents and add them as global clone sources. For example, with the 02 document open, I'll click the Add Global Source button, and it will appear on the panel. I'll do the same for the 03 document. Now I'll switch to 01 which is the source document I want to clone into, and I'll select the Clone Brush tool with K, making sure my brush hardness is set to 0% and Aligned is enabled. Before going any further, I'll also create a new pixel layer, which will let me clone non-destructively, as I'll be cloning onto this layer and not the original image content. To set a source point from one of the other images, I can either click on the global source and then click the toggle source preview button, or I can double click on the source instead. The document view will temporarily switch to this source. I'll zoom in. I want to set the source point to this man. All I need to do here is single click over an area, such as the top of the head and the document view will switch back to the current document, but the clone brush tool is now sampling from that defined area in the 02 document. Now because my images were shot handheld and so aren't aligned, I have to be careful of positioning. One useful tip here is to increase the brush width until you start to see other objects in the scene, such as the bollards. Once I'm happy that these are lined up, I can reduce the brush width then start brushing to clone in the man. I now want to clone something from the 03 document, so I'll double click to view it temporarily. Then I'll click at the top of the woman's head here to set my sample area. Again, the images aren't aligned, so I'll increase the brush width, line everything up, and clone in the two women. Because I've cloned onto a separate layer, if I realize that the cloning has overwritten some of the shadow detail from the couple over here, I can select the Erase Brush tool, take the hardness down, then erase away from this area. And there we go. That was a look at using the clone brush tool as well as the sources panel for global cloning. Thank you for watching.